You're watching CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Hello and good evening. I'm Chauncey Glover. Here are your top stories. State officials are now bracing and preparing for the incoming storms. Tonight, the governor's office saying it's mobilizing different agencies to have personnel and equipment ready in those high risk areas ahead of time. So when is the rain and snow coming? Danny Roberti is standing by with the details. Hi, Danny. Hey, Chauncey. Yeah, we're keeping a close eye on this. We have a series of storms moving through. The first is on its way over in the next 24 to 48 hours. Here's that storm right there. It's really off the coast of areas like Oregon and Seattle and you can see we're going to tap into a weak atmospheric river and this is going to bring the rain the wind mm -hmm. and the snow going into the next day or two and this is going to allow the store to swing wide open we're going to see a series of storms moving through for right now though things are fairly calm you can see a few clouds out there and we have one more dry day before everything changes let's talk about that so once we get to Thursday boy things change Wednesday night into Thursday we're talking about a soggy start you can see how our rain chances they go up like crazy and then again Sunday Monday going into Tuesday. So the Santa Monica Pier everything is calm. It's quiet right now. We've got clear skies one more dry day. But once we get to Wednesday night ahead of that front that's going to move through we're going to see those winds ramp up. That's going to lead to a soggy and messy Thursday morning. That's when the rain starts moving through and then much much cooler by the time we get to Friday. Wait until you see these temperatures. Let's talk about how this all plays out. So here's that cold front right there. You can see it is organized. It is well defined. That brings the rain to the central coast by Wednesday evening and then late Wednesday night into Thursday morning. This is when we start getting hammered with rain. Along that cold front, we're going to see the heaviest rain. And you can see that through Ventura County right around midnight. That pushes into LA County 5 to 5 30. We are going to be dealing with heavy rain all across the board. Heaviest at this point through Ventura, LA County. And then you can see some more moderate rain pushing into Orange County, the Inland Empire. Snow up in the mountains. But look at the reds and the oranges. They are widespread. This is 730 Thursday morning. This is when a lot of you are getting out there on the road. You're getting the kiddos off to school. I mean, we're going to be dealing with a lot of rain in a little small period of time. So pushing into Laguna Niguel, 730, 730 to 930. You can actually see a little bit of clearing behind that front. Heavy rain continues through Orange County, San Bernardino, snow up in the mountains, rain in the high deserts. 11 o'clock, it looks like things are clearing up, but don't let your guard down. Once we get to the afternoon time, we're going to see another round of rain moving in just some pockets of more isolated showers, some thunderstorms that could also develop because we have a cold air mass, a warm air mass colliding. That's what's going to lead to that convection. So we're going to talk about the timing of the rest of your week and also the colder temperatures and the snow that moves in. That's coming up at KCAL News at 8. John. Thanks a lot, Danny. We'll stay out of the water. That's the warning tonight from LA County health officials about some beaches because of high levels of bacteria in the water. They include the Santa Monica Pier area, also Mother's Beach and Inner Cabrillo Beach in San Pedro. In a live look tonight from LAX, there have been some major construction projects around the airport, particularly the people mover we're talking about, which is expected to help ease the traffic. It was supposed to finish this year, but now it's set to be delayed. Here's KCAL News reporter Tom Waite with more. I'm Tom Waite at LAX. It looks like there may be some delays in the completion of the automated people mover. Now that's part of this massive project that you might have seen going on at LAX where they're creating this very extensive network of stations inside and outside of the airport in order to relieve all the congestion inside the LAX horseshoe. Well, apparently, Fitch ratings downgraded their bond rating for the situation. So basically what that means is that right now there's questions about whether the construction will finish when they were hoping to, which was the end of this year. Fitch is saying maybe now it will be in April of 2025, which is way further past the deadline than they wanted to go. And of course that would delay a number of the goals that the airport management had. Now we'll have a lot more on why this is happening and reaction coming up tonight on KCAL News. Tom, thanks. Well, new video in tonight of a San Bernardino boba shop targeted a second time, this time by a person with a BB gun. The co-owner of Viva La Boba on 4th Street says the person did not make it in, but they ruined the store's glass and also vandalized other nearby businesses overnight yesterday. We know earlier this month, three thieves ransacked the boba shop, stealing iPads, cookies and merchandise. No arrests have been made in either incident yet. 
Well, the effort to eradicate measles has had it, its ups and downs, we know. Now the disease is causing some more major concern for the medical community once again. Just this month, multiple U.S. cities reporting measles cases, and experts are agreeing it can easily spread among unvaccinated people. Senior reporter Ross Palumbo has been digging into the new data mm -hmm. in Southern California. What are they showing here? Well, Chauncey, the CDC tonight is warning health officials to be on the lookout for measles because it is on the rise. Our best defense actually is to be vigilant with a vaccine that's been around for decades now since 1963 and California parents have to have their child vaccinated by kindergarten to attend school and schools are supposed to make sure of that when students enroll but we found hundreds hundreds of problems measles is more than a nuisance. Not just a nuisance from the past. Do you think it puts the kids Absolutely. at risk? But possibly a problem in our future. Are you worried there could be an outbreak? I definitely am. A KCAL News investigation finds 19 states across the country, including California, with low vaccination rates. And the latest numbers say hundreds of schools here at home may also be seeing this low vaccine vigilance. It's dangerous. Our children's health at stake. Could that easily happen here? Is the school doing its job? Well, those are the questions that we are asking to see what the chances are of an outbreak right here. There is a measles outbreak overseas right now and one right now in Philadelphia. Tonight at 11, we're going to show you how health experts uh, are taking care of this, why they're worried it could happen here, and we're going to give parents all the information they need in order to protect their kids. John C., this is something that every parent, even whether you know your child has been vaccinated, you still need to watch because if someone else isn't, it does make a difference. Ross, that was my next question to you. Mm -hmm. If I'm a parent who is uh, watching this report, mm -hmm. how concerned should I be? Well, health officials say that you should be concerned. In fact, uh, we're concerned enough that we developed a special tool that we're going to unveil at 11 o'clock so parents can figure out the situation as it's happening right now in their school. And we're going to tell them what to do and how to get even more f information that is up to the minute. Gotcha. And, and right before you go, first line mm -hmm. of defense. Tonight, parents see your report uh, mm -hmm. and get this information. What's the first thing they should do? Reach out to their doctor? What, what should they do? The first thing they need to do at 10, 15, uh, 11, 15, right after our story, <laughs> right. is to go to kcalnews.com mm -hmm. because we're going to unveil this new mapping software so they can zoom in to their school and see what the situation is, then the next thing they need to do is call their school in the morning to find out today's vaccination rate for the most accurate information. But the first thing to do is to watch tonight at 11 on Channel 2. Check. We'll do. We'll see you tonight. <laughs> Thanks right. a lot, We'll Ross. see you then. Well, in other news tonight, the L.A. County Board of Supervisors tentatively approving two ordinances to regulate sidewalk food vendors. The first establishes health permit requirements and fees that depend on the type of operation. Supervisor Hilda Solis also says she plans to introduce a motion aimed at largely subsidizing those fees for low income vendors. The second ordinance sets rules about where and when vendors can work. Final approval for the ordinances set for next week. Well, this has been CBS News Los Angeles, The Rundown. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Chauncey Glover. We'll be back live on KCAL News tonight at 8 o'clock right here on CBS News Los Angeles.